Keisha here and the Don. And today's video is going to be a how we got together um, video. How like the backstory of how we got together. Okay, the backstory of how we started talking leading up to how we got together um, video. So yeah. okay, cool. So are we talking about the high school sit show too or not? Oh, it's just a little bit because we did meet in high school. Okay, well, all right. Alright y'all, this is what happened. So, okay, me and her ended up transferring to Westlake the same year from different schools, from APS schools at that, from schools that we used to play each other, but we never really knew each other. We, yeah. we knew people that like, we knew people that knew each, other. That each other or whatever, and it's crazy. And like, we lived on the same street yeah, exactly, growing up exactly, and never so. knew it until like we started talking, at, like literally at, the uh, same street. <laughs> <laughs> it is crazy. So, um. And it, it's just, if you really think about it, all, everything adds up. Yeah, like, That's it was crazy like, as far. destiny. And then, and then, like, as you came junior year, I came junior year. Yeah. And we we got cool, you know, you was a cheerleader, the captain, you know, and I was obviously captain of my team, you know, <laughs> with, with a couple of others, but. But me and Jeremy actually got um, cordial because we had a class together. We had yeah. U.S. history together junior year. And Jeremy was a little goofball, and I was very studious. So, you know, we just used to play around. I was a around. jock. Let's say it. <laughs> so we used to just like but play around. I was around. a smart jock, though. But I just, I didn't want to. I was, I don't know. I just, at West Lake, they gave me everything. Well, they didn't give me yeah, everything. Yeah, kind of, sort of, because student athletes were like kind of slick praise. And our school is like known for our basketball team. Yeah. So, like, if you did any sports there, like, even our football team was not the best, but, like, all of our athletes were just, like, praise. Wait, what was I saying? We pretty much got cool in high school. So, okay, yeah. me and Jeremy, pretty we much. never, like, had any issues. Like, we were just always friends in high school. He had his thing going on. I had my thing going on. So, it was nothing, like, ever other outside of being friends. So, we graduated. I went to Spelman. And even Patty, though I knew she slick like me. Boy! Stop. No, I, I just thought every girl like you know. So. Yeah, I I can admit I thought he was an attractive guy, but I wasn't like like I don't know. Jeremy to me was just always focused in basketball. Yeah. Like I didn't really know you for nothing. Yeah, I wasn't really like, stay nobody. You know what I'm saying? Would you really paid off? Get me, me. So yeah. he went on a full basketball scholarship to his first college um, right after school. So August of 2012, I started filming. He started. Um, that's one with um, Aiken. I want to South say Carolina. Oh, yeah. So South Carolina, and um, from South Carolina he transferred. So throughout our whole four years of college, to ten different other schools. <laughs> it's all cool though. You know what I'm saying? They was he was, I got was a traveling for basketball <laughs> purposes, and I stayed at Spelman a whole four years. We followed each other on social media. By that time, Jeremy actually was in a relationship. He had a girlfriend at that time. I was in a relationship still. Um, and just was still just like really cool. Like we didn't keep in touch on a personal note, like calling each other up and stuff. Yeah, but, but we always just like yeah, like you know, other like pictures. each other. Just to let it, let let you know, like oh yeah, I still oh, fuck yeah. with like, you, and like, I'm like, glad oh, you're doing good. And our you birthdays know? were a few days apart, so it was always like he was always like my little Scorpio buddy or big Scorpio buddy rather. Um, but just like you know, around birthdays, it was all like oh happy birthday, big Scorpio buddy. I <laughs> know, babe. <laughs> so, anyways, fast forward to what y'all really want to know. Like, how did this all happen? So, well, <laughs> you can't say it because I uh, actually have to say it. <laughs> I have to say it because I know how you're going to try to kick it to them. So, <laughs> last summer in July, well, actually, I started talking to someone in March of last year. By that time, Jeremy was not done with school yet. He didn't graduate until May. Yeah. Um, from his last, I mean, his last college, which was William Penn. Mm -hmm. And um, he wasn't in a relationship anymore. So he was just doing his thing, just, you know, talking to people. <laughs> so by March of last year, I had started talking to someone, um, and then that kind of didn't work out. So by June, um, I was just doing me. I just, and I had started talking to about three people. Um, those people y'all never met, y'all never saw. You know I talked to three people. So I was talking to about three people. Um, not at it the <laughs> very same time, but yeah. over the course of stuff, like I was talking to three different people, and you know, it just never really was like catching my attention like that. So, in July, July 25th, I want to say, can you remember the date? I want to say it was oh, July yeah, 25th. So, uh, she told y'all what she was doing. <laughs> okay, oh, tell God. them, just go ahead 
Glorify what you were doing during that time. All right, when I graduated, <laughs> I came home, you feel me? I touched back down, you feel me? But I didn't stay long because I had to go back out to Illinois uh, and play with this little semi-pro team uh, in Charlotte. And then um, then I left for Charlotte, then I flew out to Vegas um, for a little summer council or whatever. Then I just ended up staying out of Vegas for like a whole month. Like... The whole July. Well, basically the whole July. And then like, and then when I get back, I got back like, what, like July the, end of the, the end of July or whatever. And then, yeah. So Jeremy was doing his thing while he was I was in Vegas kicking it. So if you guys don't know, Jeremy is not one to post um, relationships or anything like that on social media. He had never been that type since high school. Um, I knew he had a girlfriend in high school at a certain point. He never had posted her. And then after that, I didn't know if he ever even had a girlfriend after that. I kind of slick thought, because I... I think I slipped off. I don't know what it really was. But Jeremy never really posted it. So, do y'all remember when I went on a um, break from social media leading up into my baptism? So, I got baptized July 30th. And the week prior to me getting baptized, I'm like, you know what? Social media is just like taking over everything right now. And my focus is being lost. Like, I need to be focusing on, you know, my journey through my baptism and not more so my job and everything else. And, you know, everything else I got going on, I'm focused on all these guys. I'm focused on my friends, my family, and just everything else, my job. I missed it. So, <laughs> I was like, you know, let me just, I'm not going to get on social media. I'm not going to post on social media. I'm not posting on YouTube. That's going to be that. So one day I was on my Instagram and um, no, I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm so bored. Let, let me just get on Instagram. It won't hurt. Let me just take a peek. So I literally got on there. The camera's about to die. So obviously, so I mean, the battery's about to do the thing. But anyway, so I got on Instagram and the first thing I saw was a picture of Jeremy. He had just posted a picture. Need you like Jeremy doesn't even post that much anyway. So he had just posted a picture of him and another guy. And I was like, damn, Jeremy looking good. And I was like, I'm supposed to be on social media. So I text my friends. Yeah, <laughs> I text my friends and I was like, because the other guys were just not cutting it for me. Like, they were just not cutting it for me. So I text my friends and I was like, look, if we, if y'all trying to hook me with somebody appearance-wise, this is what this is the type of person y'all need to be setting me up with. So I sent them a picture of Jeremy and they were like, oh, yeah, he's so cute. He's so handsome. So they was like, how you know? I was like, we went to high school and we were always friends. I was like, you know, I wonder if he's in a relationship. So all my friends advised me against reaching out to Jeremy. Um, they said that I should probably like like a few pictures, see if he likes something back. But we we like all of each other's pictures already, so it was nothing to like. Like I, we are, I had already liked all his pictures. He already liked all mine. Um, and then someone else was just like, um, we just leave like a few like emojis and see if he writes something back. I have, I'm, just, I'm not that type of girl. I'm not trying to play no mind games with nobody. So I decided to just slide into Jeremy's DM. So I slid into his DMs on the Twitter. I wasn't doing that, but mind of mine. Mind of my Vining his business. I slid into his DMs, and I pretty much got straight to the point. So I was like, hey, Jeremy, uh, how are you doing? Um, Text me when you get a chance. So I sent him my number. <laughs> Do so y'all know? know? Let me tell y'all what I was thinking in my mind. So... I'm like, Kisha's just like, I'm like, text her. And I'm like, what? I'm like, what could this be about? I don't got no homework due or nothing. So I don't know what this could possibly be about. So I'm like, I don't know. Maybe she, maybe she knows somebody. Because Atlanta's small, y'all. So yeah. I'm like, maybe she's like, she probably around somebody who probably like, Pulled up my picture and it was like, you know what I'm saying? And then she was like, oh, I know him. And then, you know what I'm saying? She was like, all right, well, I can get his number or whatever. Or whatever. Just text me. That is, oh, my goodness. My other one just came out. It there. just came out yeah. there? So, um. Put it right here. So, I was like, um, so, so that's what I was thinking in my head. So, I was just like, oh, maybe she's trying to. Did your back come out? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, I was like, maybe she's trying to just, like, put me on with, like, one of her friends or something. I was like, I hope her friend cute or yeah, whatever. But all of this took about three minutes for him to think of all of this because he texted me literally. No, because I was bored, too. <laughs> he, he, so, he so, I was like, all right. So, she, I was like, what's your number? She said my number. So, you know, like, you can just tap the shit and it say text message or whatever. I call. So, it just text. So, I just yeah. the text. So, in three minutes, so Jerry text, texted. So, I was like, hey, it's Jerry. <laughs> Like, hey, damn, <laughs> damn, this was fast. She didn't want to say that. I didn't have to say that part, y'all. When just I say, to say that, he takes so fast. I, I was did, like, I did. I tested back. I was like, 
Like, and let me tell y'all the like, game he started. Up on me. Let, me, like, let me tell y'all the game he started spitting y'all. So first of all, I say something. I was like, I was like, oh hey, what you what you been up to? I was like, I know you still doing your basketball thing because he had a lot of basketball pictures. So he's like, y'all still doing my basketball thing? I'm in Vegas right now for basketball. And I was like, okay, cool. I said, like, so when do you get back to Atlanta? Are you moving back to Atlanta? Are you staying where you at? He was yeah. like. He's like, oh, I'm moving back. So I was like, well, I was just wondering, like, are you in a relationship? Like, literally, like, 30 minutes. I'm like, are you in a relationship? Are you talking to someone? Um, because I know someone who's interested. And he was like, no, nah, I ain't in no relationship. I ain't talking to nobody. So I'm just like, okay, cool. So he said, who? So then the next message, I think I said I responded because he had two questions. And I responded back to one of the questions. And then I responded back to the other one saying, who? With just me. So mm -hmm. then he responded back to the other question and was like, but who? And I was like, me, LOL. So he was just like, really? <laughs> I've always thought you, what do you say? I've always had a crush on you. Yeah, you were that <laughs> red. No, I remember he's like, oh, I always had a crush. You were such an angel. I'm like, Jeremy. Like, and I knew he was spitting game, but I just thought it was the cutest thing. And like I said, the other guys <laughs> that was entertaining was just not entertainment. So I was like, Jeremy was so funny. That's what I really remember him by. So I knew it was game, but I'm just like, I'm just gonna go along with this because he's so freaking funny. So he's like, you always been such an angel. <laughs> you, you were. Yeah, that wasn't really game because I really was an angel, but <laughs> but yeah, so <laughs> quickly I was like, he was like, I get back on Friday. So I was just like, okay, cool. Um, so I told my friends what happened. They're like, what? Keisha, we told you. I'm like, look, I don't got time for all that now. Um, so I was texting Jeremy um, after that, like, kind of slick catching up. So he gets back to Atlanta, and I'm like, okay. So I then got dressed for the day because I knew he was going to hang out. Well, that's what we agreed upon. Um, and he wasn't texting me back. So I'm like, what the world? So I remember vividly getting my key to my, my apartment, going downstairs, checking him out. I was like, okay, let me occupy myself. So I called him. And I was like, hey, Jeremy, what you doing? He was like, oh, I'm back. I'm like, yeah, I know you're back. Like, what are you doing, though? She's like, oh, I know you're back. What are you doing? <laughs> so he was like, oh, I'm just chilling right now, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, so what did you want to do? Where did you want to go to hang out? I was about to be like, okay, this is a waste of my time. <laughs> I'm not about so to do this. So she got to be like, so where are we going? Yeah, because like, I'm, like, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, I'm not wanting to say She ain't even that, like, so did you still want to woo woo? She was, so where are we going? I'm like, what? Because he told me we was hanging no, no, out. No, 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 no. This is how it went for real, for real, because I remember you, you did call me, you did call me, mm -hmm. and then you was like, da 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 da. And then, and I was like, and I was, remember, I told you, because I was like, I wasn't, I was going to swerve you that day, for real, for yeah. real. Yeah. And then I was like, because I was on my, I was my partner. And then I was like, damn. And she was like, and then when you was like, you was like, don't forget about me. Okay, sorry guys, the camera cut off. So, what was the last part? I think, um, so, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see what she talking about. I'm gonna kick me with the floor a little bit. So, then we, you know. So we just, we decide, I mean, he actually ended up sending me his location and he was like five minutes away from me. So I'm like, okay, yeah, like, I'm just the type of person like, if I want to talk to somebody, if I want to be, if I'm interested in somebody, I'm just like, I really want to find out as quick as I possibly can if they're going to waste my time or not. And I don't want to be like taking weeks to figure that out. Cause like, I don't know, for some reason when I hang out with somebody, I can figure out if I like them or if I'm interested. So that's how I kind of slick knew I wasn't interested in those other three guys. Cause they were like really attractive, but like our text conversation, it was like blah. And then when we hung out, it was like blah, blah. So I was just like, uh, I don't know about this. So I kept kind of getting discouraged. Cause I'm like, oh my gosh, like this is so hard talking to new people. Cause it's like, am I being too picky or what's freaking going on? So I think with Jeremy was kind of like, let me hang out with him and see what he's about, like in person, what type of guy he is, because I don't know if we're going to end this real quick and I'll be cool with that. So we actually met up. Remember, I was supposed to be getting baptized. So mm -hmm. we actually, this is the day before my baptism. And um, we were just like in the car. Sneaking. <laughs> we was in the car. Um, and he was like such a gentleman. Like Jeremy was truthfully a breath of fresh air to me. Like as soon as he got in the car, it was just like, he was just like, it just felt so natural. It didn't feel forced. It didn't feel like, you know, I had to figure out a conversation. I, didn't, I mean, I wasn't even dressed and impressed. I was just like looking regular. Like, I just threw on something. And like listen, don't give me all the credit. I do make it easy, you know, for a person to be comfortable around. So, comfortable. Did I say comfortable or comfortable? <laughs> How did I say that? We went, got my um, cap for my baptism. 
And um, then after that, I was like, oh, I'm, he's like, well, I said, well, what you doing tomorrow? And he was like, oh, nothing, just kicking it. And I was like, oh, I'm getting baptized tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. Uh, he was like, oh, can I come? And I was like, ah, like, can you come? So I was like, I looked up like, okay, this is a really good sign. So I was like, you really want to come? And he was like, no, yeah. I'm just a very spiritual person, and I would encourage anybody who wants to walk with the Lord, you know, to take that leap of faith. Yes. <laughs> You know, and if it's my duty or my calling to make sure you took that leap of faith, hey, so be it. So be it. And this would have ended up being right. Yeah, so um fast forward a little bit. We got I got baptized the next day. Um we walked into church hand in hand like we was like already official. So I'm just like did, huh? Yeah, but it felt so natural because you I don't know like did you grab my hand? No, you it just we did it. So like, I think we just did it together. I don't know, bro. <laughs> so I don't know like from that point on like me and Jeremy like the vibe was just there like we we're not the same people but we have so many things in common that over like we it wasn't like we were inseparable from each other but we were just so comfortable with one another um so we like just hung out every single day we were hanging out um I talked about my spiritual journey why I even got baptized and you know, then he told me a little bit of like the in-betweens of, you know, what was going on with him while he was in college and stuff like that. So, I, um, but anyway, you guys, to sum, you know, to sum it up and not sum it up, you know, we, we ended up, you know, we ended up like hanging after, her, after, actually after the first day we met or we met up with each other, we literally hung out every day after that, like, every day, like. Every day, <laughs> and you know we just grew, you know, a friend like uh, even closer friendship first, 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 first. You know what I'm saying? Like we learn how to be each other friend at first. You know, and then, you know, as time, you know, as time went on, you know, obviously our feelings start, you know, to develop more. And, you know, and, you know, we just started to cut different people out of our lives. You know, as as time progressed. You know, different people, different friends, all type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because we, we, we wanted everything to mold around what we had. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, every, you know so, so we started getting heavily, heavily invested in each other. And then, you know, I, and then one day I woke up and I felt like, hey, man, you know, I love her. So I might as well just go ahead and just make her my girlfriend and let her know that I'm really in this shit for real. You know, that was, really, that was really my thing. It wasn't, because my thing about the girlfriend, boyfriend thing, I really could care less about a title because at the end of the day, unless you got a ring on somebody, on somebody's finger, like that's the only promise. Like when you vow to God, you see what I'm saying? That you're going to be with this person, do this with this person and do this. When you vow to God, that's when I believe, that's what makes me a true believer. And so that's why I was told that once I get married, it's over with, like you marry me. Like it's, it's over with, like it's over with. Like you can lose your leg and your arm, and I'm just gonna be wheeling your ass to wherever we gotta go. That's it. If I lose an eye or whatever, you gonna like you gonna be seeing for my ass for real. That's just what it's gonna be, and that's just how I feel about that. Though you see what I'm saying? So that's why, like, I mean, our no relationships and stuff cool because that's the developmental stage. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Like nobody really, you know what I'm saying, really promised, nobody's really promised me their life, you see what I'm saying, when you marry somebody, you promise them their, your life, you see what I'm saying, so, and I know you don't care about me or you don't love me that much yet, I'm just not, I'm not saying you, I'm just saying in general, so I'm not even going to expect all that, you see what I'm saying, so that's why, you know, people come and go, and that's why everybody got so many people coming and going out of their life and they just wonder, are they doing something wrong or whatever, it's just, you know, that's just how life is, and when you do find that person, you know what I'm saying, you're going to know it, and you just got to cherish it, you know. And that's what, I, that's what I believe that I found, with, you know, with Keisha. You know, I'm not perfect or anything, you know. I fuck up, you know what I'm saying, but ultimately I know, like, you know what I'm saying, I, I believe that, you know, you don't want to, you know, I'm going to fuck with you. But, you know, I just... That's that's why I want to you know make you my girlfriend or I think that gonna solidify shit with her. So cause it don't even matter if it's not locked in with her. You see what I'm saying? It don't matter how I think, cause how I think is just how I think. You see what I'm saying? 
it's gonna be unbalanced. So once she, you know what I'm saying, once she knew that, she kind of knew that I was serious. I was really, really serious about this. Like, really serious about this. And, you know, and, you know, the rest has it's been, you know, it's been a blessing since and before then, you know, so. Ultimately <laughs> speaking, everything happened the way it was supposed to happen. Yeah. If I could, like, look back at our journey, like, from high school up until me reaching out to you up until us talking and the bond we created. Okay guys, so that is our backstory of how we actually met and how we actually started talking and where we are now. So me and Jeremy are both happy, but I will say that we've never come on my platform or any of our social media platforms and have ever claimed to be perfect people. So we definitely make mistakes and everything is a learning process because you only live once. So you have to make mistakes to figure out what not to do or what to do or, you know, how to grow with someone, how to love someone, just how to be there for someone. Like everything is a trial and error, regardless if you've been in 20 million relationships, you still, every person is a new person and everybody thinks differently and experiences are different. So um, I'm very happy of how things um, played out for me and Jeremy and um, I really feel like this was just God's timing for me. Um, so that's just how I feel. Any last words, babe? It feels so good. <laughs> babe, I know it's all right, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe down here in this link below. Is it right here? They. <laughs> yeah. It's running on. <laughs> so don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed this. We'll be doing a Q and A video soon, and I love you guys so very much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. I was editing, editing the vlog for today and i was like what the world i got down to 13 minutes and this is not happening in a while that's why i didn't upload the vlog the other day because i'm just like i'm not gonna upload no short vlog footage um but yeah so